first of all uh, welcome in my channel and uh, today i'm going to tell you about my membership plan first of all uh, i will provide you dotnet core video tutorial dapper tutorial rest rest api tutorial angular uh, angular video tutorial and uh, not only video tutorial i will uh, provide you complete source code okay and it's not only a simple video tutorial it's a project based video tutorial so each technology have minimum two projects so guys this is a project based courses in all technologies just 800 rupees and you focus that it's not only a technology it's a roadmap okay so that is the complete roadmap of dotnet core and that video tutorial is providing you a past deal for you okay so first of all i will provide you dotnet core and uh, video tutorial it's not only based uh, it's not only simple video tutorial again i repeat you a uh, project based video tutorial so i will cover it uh, all design patterns and uh, solid patterns and uh, architectural designs okay so uh, i will give you uh, clean architecture based projects okay so uh, that is dotnet core and uh, that dotnet core used entity framework core and sql server in further video i will use adio.net and the dapper and uh, just after that i will use blazor for as a front end and angular as a front end and the react as a front end uh, so use rest api so it's a based on project uh, okay and it's a roadmap so that we can cover all the topics of the full stack development so this is only 800 rupees i will uh, you will uh, you just pay me 800 rupees and get all video tutorials okay so uh, day by day and uh, if you are belong from other country just pay a dollar 15 and it's only a one time fees that is again i repeat you one time fees just only pay 800 rupees and get the source code and complete video tutorials okay so how to get the deal just fill this form that is your name your email id your contact number contact number is not necessary transaction reference id order id or paypal id if you are belong from india just pay using upi id and uh, just add your transaction reference id uh, and after that uh, if you are belong from other country just use this my uh, paypal id and this is you can use this qr code also okay and submit the form after submit your form you will get a notification uh, via email and uh, start your journey for the membership okay so uh, just find the link of this form in your video description box so must to check your video description box okay uh, hurry up guys because it's a limited time deal i will provide uh, hello everyone welcome to my channel asp.com and today i'm going to restart the inventory management system and here we have the menus you know that is which is related to the inventory and here we have a customer type customer sales type sales order shipment invoice payment receive vendor type vendor purchase type and lots of you know we have the menus so uh, i want to discuss first of all uh, that is the currency so uh, in this video tutorial this i'm going to tell you about the currency and what about the currency is here so uh, here we have we you all know that uh, we have some models like that so these are the models and i want to add each uh, each of them are connected connected to each other so uh, first of all i i want to uh, know about the currency currency is actually not dependent to other so that is the id name code and description okay. now uh, the second step is to create a currency uh, service uh, in your repository uh, directory so first of all add a new folder that name is currency so first of all stop the debugging and new rename and you you can say currency uh, service okay in currency service we we all know that here we have a i build type service that is i build type repo and uh, we all know that also so you can say i currency service that is i currency repo dot cs file Okay, and just implement a service that is currency service 
ipsos.cs so here we have a i currency repo and oops the currency uh, repo instead of currency repo instead of currency service you can just take a currency repo okay now uh, you all know that i currency repo have uh, the basic red operations we all know that uh, the build type uh, repo is uh, not uh, dependent to uh, any other entity like here we have a build type and you know that a build type repo is not uh, actually dependent to other so the similar functionality of your i build type repo uh, perform with your currency repo so i currency repo and add these functions here now uh, here we have a base result of build type uh, list view model that is get all page number and the page size create build type view model build type view model and build type view model so we all know that we just create a view model so here we have a view model uh, layer and just add a currency here add a new directory that is currency and under your currency we just add that is add a new empty file and here I'm going to add a currency uh, view model currency view model.cs and the next one is create currency view model create currency view model.cs so here we have two things that is create currency view model and currency view model okay so just open your currency first now create currency view model we need to add name code and description so just add these okay and we all know that the uh, actually name is required code is uh, also required but uh, there is no validation to apply it right here only these things is required okay oops okay so create currency view model have a featured uh, required member is not available in c sharp 10 please use language version 11.0 or greater okay so it's actually we all know that uh, that uh, inventory management system is actually working with the 6.0 so it's required is not uh, available right now okay so you can use model validation like that okay now save this and create currency currency view model we need to id and name so currency view model we need to add id name code and description okay so uh, instead of uh, i currency uh, repo we need to add build type list view model and we all know that a build type list view model is a different build, build type view model why why this build type list view model is different so just go to definition first and here we have a build type id build type name description build type view model and these are okay so that is the list okay now i'm going to add here that is a currency view model currency view model that is get all add uh, that is create current oops create currency view model currency view model and the last one is currency view model okay now in i currency repo and here we have a currency repo and that is implemented by i currency repo now use control dot and implement interface okay now just open your i will type repo and their implementation so here we have a that is the just close this one and open the repository that is build type repo here we have 
Now just the same thing we can do it with here. Uh, that is the build type repo is similar with your currency repo. So just add this one and change the constructor. Okay. Now in add functionality of build type repo, here we have where build type. So just use currency repo here and that is one. Now I want to change it. Uh, that is the build type. So I want to change uh, create currency view model. Here we have a model. Okay. I want to change it in, into the view model. So that that one is the view model. View model to model. I, I mean to say that I want to change it. So uh, VM uh, to model. That is the name. Okay. And that is the extension method or you can say uh, it's a, a conversion in currency create currency view model so go to definition and return back to the view model uh, sorry it's a return back to the model so public and return back what is that is currency okay and the name is vm2 model okay now i want to change back Currency is what? Currency is the name. Uh, okay, currency is the mode name. So just I want to take it uh, the name space first. Inventory dot models dot. Dot currency and VM2 model. So written new inventory dot model dot currency name is name code and description like that name is what that is name is uh, name dot code is code description is description okay so uh, here you can see that is removed from here. Now uh, the next one is context dot build types. So I want to change it with the currency dot add. That is build type. Instead of build type, you can just add currency. Okay. Now that's cool. Now the second thing is uh, here we have a build type update build type. I want to say. So just copy that code. And in case of update, okay. So just first of all, context dot build types dot where. So context dot currencies dot where uh, dot id is equals to uh, that is the view model actually. So model dot model dot ID and model is what that is model from DB and model from DB is not equals to null so that I want to oops model from DB is not equals to null so that you can change the model dot uh, sorry model from DB dot code is uh, model dot code model from db dot name is the name and model from db dot description is for description okay so that's cool now uh, just after that we can make it as uh, context for save changes Update is ready to go. Now just get by ID, build type repo and delete. So just call it delete uh, currency repo, ATO delete model dot currencies dot ID is ID and model from DB model is not equal to null dot remove. 
the model and context what save changes that's cool now the next one is okay so delete is ready to go get y id so just copy that code and paste it there so context dot build type instead of build type you can say currencies dot where dot id is id first or default new build type view model so uh, build type view model instead of build type view model you can say currency view model currency view model and just pass it the name and just change to the view model so currency view model go to definition and make it here constructor and inside the constructor you can just add inventory dot models dot currency and that is currency i want to pack it currency dot id name code and description now in currency repo just pull it okay and the next one is get all so build type repo dot get all get my id is ready to go now the next one is i want to uh, get a please result class so currency repo is here and page result I want to send back now the page result is with the currency view model so here we have a new uh, that is the currency view model data is what uh, data is a, a build type list view model it's not a build type view model uh, it's a currency view model list of currency model okay and exclude result is page number page size okay model list is what uh, where model list is context dot build types currencies dot skip exclude result dot take to list and total count is context dot currencies dot to list dot count and vm list is what i uh, i need a convert model to view model list okay this method is actually need so from the build type repo that is the conversion here copy and paste it there build type uh, view model instead of build type view model we need a currency view model okay convert model to view model list so here the model list is uh, currency that is the model list and I want to pack that is list of currency view model so new build type view model list new currency view model and model list dot select and just change it new currency view model of the type x currency view model is what currency view model and here we have a currency and just change back to the okay view model that's cool now uh, here we have a currency repo just call it convert model to view model and the model list is fine and throw back to the result that's fine now the repository is ready to go you can use it in the cons uh, in the controller section now just first of all close all tabs repository utility view model and the web controller here we have a i think to have any currency controller add a new controller the name of the controller is mvc controller and add a new controller that is the currencies controller The name is currencies controller. Now just open your build types controller again and just make it uh, the copy and paste the whole code. Okay, create, create, 
and only change the class name okay so just copy all code just copy the code and paste in the currencies controller okay now here we have a i build repo so just go, first of all add in the program.cs file and here we have a i customer repo i currency repo also we can add it here that is i currency repo and that is currency repo okay the next one is to build types so currencies controller here and i currency repo that is underscore currency repo i currency repo here currency repo that's cool now the next one is index so just call it currency repo dot get all page number in the page size that is currency currencies okay paste it here create uh, create currency view model 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 state dot is valid so you can just call currencies repo dot add model the next one is to add edit currency repo dot get by id and here i am going to add currency model so that is currency repo dot update delete is what currency report dot delete okay so everything is fine now just add a uh, you know the views for your currencies controller see in the next video where we just generate a views for the currencies controller